Hello everyone, uh, this is Dr. Abdul. I'm very glad to be with you today in a new video. And in this video, I'm gonna go with you over this exercise in chapter two. The book is Discovering AutoCAD 2020. Uh, so as you see here from the dimensions, we will have a square six by six. Also, we have uh, a, a circle. Uh, this circle join the square the same center, uh, and the diameter of this uh, circle is a three point five. Also, we do have uh, several circles. Uh, the diameter of each one is point twenty five, and uh, the the distance here is point fifty point fifty. So let's get started and do this exercise together. Let's start by drawing a square. We will use the rectangle tool for this. Uh, also, you can uh, use polyline or line, but I'm going to use rectangle for this. Now, uh, at the beginning, rectangle, you need to specify the corner point. I'm going to start with 0, 0, which is the x and y. So I started at this point. Now I need to uh, enter 6, then hit tab to get the other dimension, hit 6 again, and enter. So I finished uh, the square 6 by 6. Always you can check your dimension by going to the quick in the utilities. We are still in the home tab, utilities, quick, and uh, choose here the dimension. Make sure that you did it correctly. Now, we need to draw uh, the circle in the middle by using the circle command on the home tab, draw a panel, circle command, center diameter. Now, as you see here, we got a geometric center. The reason that I got this geometric center because I have the rectangle uh, tool. I use the rectangle tool. It's not the segment. If you draw it with lines, you will not get that one. Uh, also, I do have the object snap geometric center. If you need uh, any information about object snaps and which one uh, is used for what, please review my previous video uh, about object snaps. Now, make sure the geometric center is on and go over, start the circle command, hover over the rectangle, you will find the center, left click on it, then enter the 3.5 for the diameter. Now we need to draw uh, the other circles. Um, we will start circle. We know here the diameter is 0.25, so center diameter. The center of the first circle here specify center point. It is 0.5, comma, 0.5. So the x and y is uh, 0, 0.5 according uh, to uh, these dimensions here, 0.5 on the x, 0.5 on the y, and we started at 0, 0. So this is the x and this is the y on the coordinate system. Okay, so 0 0.5, 0 0.5, enter. Now we started the first circle and we put 0 0.25 for the diameter. So this is uh, the first circle. Now we need to draw the other uh, circle. You can draw it similar way by cal calculating the x and y for each circle, or you can use the copy command. I'm gonna use copy command for this. Uh, start the copy command, select object, this one, enter. Now, I will select the object snap center and make sure again that we do have the center over there. Now, I will move to the right and to make sure that you are doing that horizontally, I recommend having polar tracking on and setting that to 90 set or you can use the also mode as well okay now go to the correct direction to the right 2.5 enter okay now the other one is 5 enter okay so we are still in the copy command 2.5 enter 5 enter so we draw these two now Let's copy this circle. 
Start the copy command. Select object. Select the circle with left click. Enter. Pick the center. Go to the right. 2.5. Enter. Then 5. Enter. Lastly, we can copy that one. Uh, if you need to use other tools like mirror, you can draw the first part and mirror it. Also, if you need advanced ways like uh, array, you can use rectangular array. I'm trying to make it simple and use the basic tools in this exercise. And we can just use the copy from center, go down 2.5, enter. So the only commands I use in this um, drawing as simple as I can uh, is a starting rectangle uh, command you can do it with polygon you can do it with lines but I started with one way now I'm gonna show you another way if you are using the line if I use the line command uh, I can also uh, let me start a new drawing here I'm gonna start with the line command specify first point zero comma zero enter so i started the first point now i will move up six enter let me pan and zoom using the mouse now i will go six enter down six enter left i can close see enter or just use the object now so object snaps are very important uh, to use now, after that, I can uh, circle, draw the circle in the middle, center diameter. Now, I don't find the geometric center because this one is not polyline or rectangle or polygon. So, it is segment. As you see here, let's show you it is segment. And now, there is no geometric center. So, I have two options in this case to find the center of the circle. The first option start the center uh, diameter command and use the midpoint track it without the clicking and the midpoint to track it without the clicking now i have uh, two lines when they intersect i do left click now i type 3.5 enter okay so this way i find the center or if i don't want to do that i can join these lines together type join enter now i select these lines using any selecting methods also there is another video about selecting methods if you want to watch it uh, you can select now as you see it is one segment it's a polyline it's a square it's not several segments now you can draw the circle diameter and you will find the geometric center because we have object snap geometric center uh, now i can Pick the geometric center, 3.5, enter. You uh, can complete the circles similar way to this one by drawing the first circle, X and Y, then uh, copying them. I hope you find this video helpful. Uh, and if you like the video, please uh, like. If you have comments, please let me know. And uh, thank you for watching. Look, uh, looking forward to see you again in a new video. Dr. Abdul.